well, what does a win like this to do to boost the team's confidence? Uh, you know, anytime in this game, this game gives you so many bad nights, you know what I'm saying? It's a hard game. Hitting a baseball, a lot of people claim it's the hardest thing in doing sports. I think maybe driving a race car 200 miles an hour, bumping a bumper around a oval track for like so many laps, I would think that'd be t- pretty tough for me. But they say hitting a baseball is one of the hardest things to do in sports. And uh, so obviously when you go out there and, and get some good swings and feel good about yourself, obviously it helps you. But uh, the uh, the biggest thing I think I can take away from tonight's game is, you know, people are canceling games all over the country right now because you, you either think you're good with hosting, you think you're good with being a national seed, or you think you're in postseason and people are, you know, canceling games. And uh, yesterday we had some rain coming and they said, hey, you want to cover the field or see if we get rain now because they know this time of year everybody's banged up and, and people don't want to play. And we just want to do what the game calls for. And the game calls for playing the game the way it's meant to be played with the respect that the game deserves. And uh, I think our guys felt the same way. Just really proud of our guys going out there and taking care of of business tonight against a team that obviously hasn't had as good a season uh, as we have, and I'm just proud of the way they went again, took care of business, which is what they've done for the last six weeks, despite injury after injury. This team, I tell them all the time, they're resilient, and they just keep answering the call, and that's not an easy thing to do. And uh, I'm just really proud of the way they came out tonight. Alex Sosa had a, had a big night, you know. What's it like to see him? You know, well, he's a great night. player. I mean, this guy was. He turned out a lot of money, come to the state of Florida, and he came here and he went through one. As a matter of fact, I think he went, told me one time, he said, Coach, I think I'm going to go back to COVID and just wearing a mask all over campus. He got mono, lost a lot of weight. It cost him, he was playing really, really well, and it cost him a lot of time. Then right after COVID, he got the flu. Our whole team got the flu, and like 20 guys were out, and he, he just said, this is unreal. And, and he came back, put the weight on, and still works hard. But sometimes this game can get to you, and he didn't come back exactly the, the way he before he those things happened. So it was good to see him to keep working, keep staying the course, because this game can deflate you a little bit and make you think all kind of things. And just proud of him to come out here and have a good game tonight. For, for sure, with him, and then uh, the, the, some of the guys that came off the bench later on. I mean, Matt Hadner has been on a streak lately. Uh, Andrew Schaffer got his first career hit. What does it mean to have the guys, the kind of with the injuries you all have had, the depth that you have now, just so those guys can produce when their name is called? Yeah, Hadner was playing really, really well. I mean, he's come in and played really well. We had to move Luke Nixon to the outfield, who was playing a great second base, and and uh, with the injury to Hogue, and and uh, so we had to shuffle some things around. But the two guys I was most proud of tonight were Jackson Lucas and and uh, Heath Andrews. They came in and both had a long, long inning. And to see them go back out there, and that's why we were going to pull them, but the other guy wasn't quite ready to go out there with that long inning with the same focus they came into the game with. So the two guys I was most proud of tonight in that department would be Heath Andrews and Jackson Lucas. Coach, what you think about Ryan's performance tonight? Well, Ryan's always been good. You know, he had that lat or scap thing or something uh, in the middle of the season that kept him out for a while. And... Uh, but Ryan Marone's been, like, we're very fortunate for a guy like Ryan Marone. Another guy could have gone in the draft. And what he and Cooper Consiglio and some other guys, these uh, rookies have given us uh, this year has, has saved us as we, as we lost Matt Willison. And, you know, we lost uh, Whitaker for six weeks. And Sam had a setback. And what those young guys have given us has been really, really good. So bad. Yeah. Thank you.